How's it going, Blazers? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. This is a design from Dylan Mallory. I was able to meet him at Blade Show. Excellent guy. A lot of designs coming out. Also has a chef knife coming out too, so check that out on his Instagram page. Uh, so this is called the Dro. Uh, there also is one that's called the Sheet Foot. Uh, so this is also from uh, With Armor. So a lot of new brands out there. Uh, so this one is one that I'm not too sure of the origin of it, but uh, With Armor. Uh, with armor.com and also this is kind of their uh, Instagram and Facebook uh, so you can check them out on those sources for that uh, but this is going to be the clip point blade uh, for this one here so this was provided uh, by with armor so thank you very much uh, to them for providing the knife for review uh, so by looking at it and feeling it it seems to be kind of made by the folks that do the harns uh, just for the fact that uh, the um, the pivot is pretty similar in the machining of it uh, as far as how sharp it is. Uh, I could be going out on a limb on that, uh, but I'm not too sure. Uh, but that is kind of, um, it feels like that's from, from the same folks, uh, which isn't a bad thing because in the new uh, Assassin uh, with the pocket clip has been getting good, uh, really good reviews from folks as well. So, but this is the one here uh, that is going to be up for review on it. Uh, but this one has uh, hand sizing wise, we're looking at a male and a female hand, see where that is for you as far as how that's going to look. Uh, this one comes in at uh, 3.1 ounces, which is actually really good uh, also for the blade length uh, for this one. Uh, this is about $48 uh, as far as uh, through uh, Prairie Knife Works is the only place I could find it right now. They're normally on Amazon, so they'll probably be back on there as well. Uh, but MSRP about $60 for this one here. Uh, the price is, is not bad uh, for it and then we'll go into that a little bit later on to see where that is for that uh, but we're going to look at also as uh, far as uh, where the uh, flipping action is for this one i use a liming pull gauge for this to give you an actual number as far as how much pressure it takes to actually uh, deploy the knife so that's where i'm going to be using this one here as far as a liming pull gauge and then we'll just put it on the flipper tab and actually get that uh, so normally about two to three pounds is a probably a pretty decent amount uh, for it so one pound 15.9 ounces so a little bit under two ounces so that's still in a good range so two to three pounds normally uh, for uh, flipper tabs decent uh, for it uh, normally one that's just thumb studs uh, maybe about two pounds or less uh, is actually pretty good for that as well uh, so that's where uh, it is for this one as far as that weight a lot of different opening methods for this one too so you're gonna have a regular light switch for it uh, you're going to have a thumb deployment for it, Oops, thumb deployment for it. You're also going to have a middle finger uh, deployment and then a kind of a pinch and roll. So you can actually uh, roll it open a little bit more uh, discreetly. And then you're also going to have kind of inertia. So you can actually get this out Oop, and I hit the table on it. There we go. So you do have inertia. It's not gravity. I guess it's not going to come out uh, if you just um, have the gravity side for it. But if you want to get out of there, I mean, you're only going over uh, that about that two pounds to actually uh, have that stopping motion to actually flip out the blade. And so traditional is available too. So if you want to open two hands, you can do that um, as well uh, for it. So this one's going to be a 3.5 inch uh, clip point. So I got a little bit, and I mean, that's basically to this point here on the handle is about 3.5. Uh, cutting edge is about the same as well. And then this is going to be a flat grind uh, throughout. Uh, for it. Uh, this one is very uh, thick behind the edge. So it's going to be, I guess, more of a working knife, uh, which is good or bad. It depends on what you're looking for for it. Uh, but this one's going to be about a nine sheets of paper. So basically take a, the sheets out of your printer. Nine sheets is going to be what that is, about 35 thousands. And then it's going to be about a 22 degree ramp. So what do I mean by the ramp? Uh, so basically when you uh, basically disengage it and it goes onto the blade, it's going to be about 22 degrees. So 20 degrees is really good. Basically 30 degrees is still not bad. And 40 degrees or more is pretty terrible uh, for that as far as an experience, in my opinion. Uh, but this one has a blade stock about 2.7 millimeters. Right hand tip up. And that's where it's going to get to something that a lot of people won't like. Is the flashiness of this as well as a not, not a deep carry. It works well enough, uh, but that's going to be where that is. So... Uh, you're going to see how that is in pocket, but that's going to be how much is going to be sticking out uh, for you as far as in your pocket as well. 
So not great for that. I would have preferred, and I think it would have been uh, well more well accepted if this was a, just a regular loop over. I still would have a little bit sticking out, but you wouldn't have it as much as it is now. And this is a very bright clip uh, for the blade. Uh, so that's the one thing that I don't think is that great for it. As far as taking it out of pocket, it takes about one pound, a 7.8 ounces. So actually to pull it out of your pants. Uh, so that's a really decent weight as well. So it works well, uh, but it just doesn't look the, the best. D2. Uh, so this is one thing that there's a lot of billboarding on it uh, for it. And it's really, hopefully it is 61. Because that's really getting you into a very minute uh, category of it. So you're saying exactly 61. You're not giving yourself a range of like, manufacturing like 61 to 62 59 to 61 you're saying this is at 61 uh, so that is kind of a uh, really putting yourself into a box so i haven't actually tested this one out as far as that goes but if it is that's actually going to be a good range for a d2 blade uh, this one a corrosion side uh, is about seventh percentile uh, for it uh, but it does have a stone wash uh, coated blade so that should help out with that edge retention side I compared to all the super steels out there. It's about 49th percentile. So pretty good with that as well. This one came in at 333 for the sharpness. And then that is going to be a, a, a low of the new high end cutlery. So it's almost to the point where it needs to be sharpened up a little bit. So that is going to be where that is. For the actual sharpness of it or the degree of its sharpened angle. So basically the secondary angle here. Uh, it's going to be about uh, 45 degrees inclusive, both sides. So about 22.5 each side uh, for that one. Uh, so as far as how this is sharpened here. So again, it goes back to more of a working edge. Uh, most of the other ones are about 15 degrees uh, per side. So general comments on it. It's, it's an okay blade. Uh, there is some issues though that I find, I, mean, I guess a pet peeve type of thing uh, for it. And I did let them know about this. Uh, I didn't get a response uh, from... Uh, with armor uh, but it seems to be just a, a tolerance issue with the actual detent ball uh, so you can, if you can see let me get this a little bit closer here so if you can see on the blade uh, this is actually going to move a little bit so it just seems to be a detent ball um, tolerance issue uh, with it so it's not a safety issue so it doesn't actually come out of the end uh, it has enough play for that but that's just kind of the play that it has uh, before it actually does any deployment so it basically has the play then it has a little bit of flex and then it has the break uh, so that's not that's something that's that great on it so even with as a wrap two uh, for this one uh, so this one it's not a flipper but i'm putting just some pressure on it uh, and then it's not having any wobble and it just has the break for it uh, so that's one thing that um, I don't prefer, uh, so even this one with a Kershaw fraction, so I'm just going to be putting some pressure on here as well. So it's not having any wobble for it, uh, for the detent ball, and then it'll have the break. Uh, so that's something that I think they could probably work on a little bit for it. Uh, maybe that would bring up the price slightly. Uh, I'm not too sure uh, for that, uh, since I didn't get a response. Uh, but uh, that's just one, something that I find to be... Um, not the best for it as far as that goes and I don't know if that came across well enough uh, when I was letting him to know uh, but that is what I was referring to for this one as far as uh, uh, the other ones that we were talking about so uh, that's going to be kind of that rat 2 uh, in sizing uh, there's a like Caligo that was a 2018 uh, basically knife of the year and then we have that fraction that we're talking about here so that's going to be some of the sizings on that. Uh, but this one I would say it would be a, probably a buy if they could get the detent ball correct on it. And then uh, maybe maybe a little bit less on the price because $48 is decent for it. It is uh, milled as far as the contouring of the scale. Good weight for it, 3.1 ounces for a 3.5 inch blade. Uh, but there's just a few different things. So that maybe even make these uh, not blue, just regular satin. Deep carry loop over. And then, uh, yeah, there's just a few different things on that that I would prefer. So that would be why it would be a buy for that if they did those things. Otherwise, it's a borrow. See if it's what you're looking for. Or if it bother, doesn't bother you at all, then that would be a borrow for it. But let me know as far as the comments, as far as what you think. Check out some of the other videos and have a good day.
morning or evening. And thank you very much.